Good morning, everyone. Today's story is called Tatty Bogle, and it's by Sandra Horn and Ken Brown. Old Tatty Bogle stood in the middle of the field. He had been there for a long, long time. He was made of sticks and sacks and the farmer's worn out clothes. His head was full of straw and cheerful thoughts. When the wind blew, he rocked from side to side and his hat jumped up and down, but it never blew away because it was tied under his chin with good strong twine. I like a bit of a dance, said Tatty Bogle. When it rained, the drops made a drumming noise on his hat. Music! said Tatty Bogle. Little waterfalls ran down from his floppy hat past his face. He liked that. It's like being a statue in a fountain, said Tatty Bogle. He was happy when the stars twinkled and the moon shone. Sometimes when the nights were cold, ice drops glimmered in the sky high up among the stars. Tatty Bogle thought they were as pretty as a summer day rainbow. He was happy when the snow made a mound on the top of his hat. It keeps my brains warm, said Tatty Bogle. I feel just like a king with a silver crown. One autumn day, the wind got up and began to blow very hard. Good stuff, said Tatty Bogle. But the wind blew harder and harder and louder. Tatty Bogle was rocked about so much that he felt quite dizzy. Steady on, he said, that's enough. But still the wind grew stronger. It howled like a pack of wolves, tearing leaves and branches from the trees. It snapped some of Tatty Bogle's stuffing and scattered it all along the hedge. Whoops! said Tatty Bogle as the top of his hat broke off and his scarf blew away. Oh no, he said as he spun round twice and his coat buttons were ripped off. Help, he cried as the wolf wind picked him up and tossed him into the hedge. His coat and trousers were torn away and his stuffing was thrown into the air. Deary me, said Tatty Bogle. All that's left of me is a stick and a few wisps of straw. I hope the farmer will find me soon and mend me. But when the farmer came walking through his fields, he said, Bless my soul, the wind has blown Tatty Bogle all to bits. His coat's in the ditch and his scarf's all tangled up in a holly bush. I wonder where the rest of him is. What's that? Oh, it's only an old stick. Then he went away again. Well, said the stick, I can't be a tatty bogle without any stuffing or clothes. What else can I be? He tried to think, but he couldn't. He was just a stick. Winter came, dark and cold. First it rained and the stick sank a little way into the wet earth. Then it froze, and the stick was held fast in the icy ground. Snow fell, making a deep white carpet all over the earth. It piled up round the bottom of the old stick in the hedge. The winter lasted a long time, and the stick stood there silent and still. The moon shone bright across the field, but no light fell on the old frozen stick in the dark corner of the hedge. One morning, there was a faint smudge of blue in the sky. The frost began to crack and melt. The snow turned to watery drops and rolled away. The sun crept out from behind a cloud and shone on the old stick. Spring had come. Slowly, a warm feeling spread through the stick. It started at the bottom and crept all the way up to the top. Then tiny white buds began to grow under the ground. The stick was growing roots. The roots grew fast and deep. Near the top of the stick 
Where the sun shone warmest, more buds grew. They reached up towards the sky. The stick was growing branches. As the warm days went on, leaf buds formed. Then it, when it rained and the buds unfolded and opened, the new leaves fluttered in the air. A thin whispery voice from somewhere deep inside the stick said, A drop of rain does you a power of good. Raindrops pattered on the new leaves. Music, said the voice. The spring days grew longer and the sun shone. New buds grew and broke into dancing golden catkins. Then one sunny morning, the farmer came with a bundle of sticks and straw and worn-out clothes. Tatty Bogle watched as he built a fine new scarecrow. The new scarecrow looked across at Tatty Bogle. What a beautiful tree, he said. I feel like a king with a golden crown, said Tatty Bogle as he waved his branches in the summer breeze.